Hello and welcome. So in a departure from my last videos, which were Battlefield Hardline Better videos, where I was just moaning like fuck, we are going to be playing some Kevin Keegan's Player Manager. We may not actually be playing it, um, because I know nothing about this game. I don't know whether it's an actual football game or a management game. The, the title of the game leaves you no sort of inclination as to what type of game it is. So yeah, Kevin Keegan, there he is. Um, I don't know, what's with these? Okay. Uh, right, no, I not a Scooby. Right, so this looks like we are actually going to jump into some um, management type stuff. Okay, there's a question mark. Uh, Okay, this is confusing. Are we selecting like different cups here to play or something? I have no idea what's going on. Try the football. I never played a 16 bit management game back in the day. In fact, I don't know whether I've ever played one at all. Right, so here we have something that looks like football. And we're in penalty shootout mode. I thought that's what it looked like. And it looks to be a simple press the, the button when the pong like paddle cursor. Yeah, it's just kind of like pong. Yes, I know what I mean. But yes, you kind of press the button when it's where you want to aim for and it saves every goddamn fucking penalty attempt that I have it's horrendous and my keeper just stands there, am I supposed to control him? I have no idea graphics are pretty fucking terrible for a Super Nintendo game Um, yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to control the goalkeeper. Oh yes, I actually managed to score one even though the keeper very nearly saved it. I'm going to start watching paint dry. Oh, my keeper moved, yeah. So I am supposed to manually control my keeper and try and save the ball. Yeah, it's just unfair unless you're playing with uh, playing against the AI is unfair. Basically, right. So what do we have here? Is this a proper game of football? Free kick. We can practice free kicks, can we? So. Um, There must be an actual game in here somewhere. I'll hit the the reset button, which may fuck my recording up. But fuck it, we'll see by now. So we'll go for this one here, kick off now. Um, yeah, player versus Super Nintendo. And, uh, are we, are we supposed to be like selecting the squad or can we just skip? I'm not sure. Oh, we're selecting the, the two teams. I'll just select the two random teams there. So we have real teams, Brentford and Crystal Palace. You can barely read them on the TV. Looks pretty clear on the capture device. So this TV I'm using is shit. You will not be able to see it, but I can. So I know it's shit. Right. So we have an actual football game here. So from what I saw, like the 
part where you select the kickoff um, to play the match. It basically looks like this is a version of kind of super kickoff, um, just because it seems to share the same um, logo. I think I do own that game, um, but I cannot remember anything about it, so it's all kind of new to me at the minute. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The goalkeepers are controlled by the computer which is a bonus um, I seem, I'm not 100% sure but I do seem to kind of recollect a kickoff game where the, the keepers were manually controlled and it just made the game like really fucking hard so yeah this certainly isn't the, uh, the best game of well the best football game I should say Certainly nowhere near the best game I've played on the Super Nintendo. Do have a cup of tea with me for refreshments as usual. Um, so it's interesting how you select um, kind of way goalie kicks the ball. I've never seen anything like that before. Oops. So yeah, it's got that kind of um, sensible soccer thing going on where you have to kind of Resident Evil tank control the ball around, um, you know, do the full turn. You can't just quickly uh, you know, change directions. Basically the ball just carries on in whatever direction you were originally running. Um, so yeah, that, that is something that we're not used to with um, fo footballs in the present football games in the present day and age so uh, it can take a bit of adjusting to the graphics are pretty uh, pretty basic as you can see um, very small kind of player sprites I do remember like when the PlayStation first came out and you got like your, your first 3D graphics and um, you know you used to sort of like the Premier League nowadays and pretty much every player um, you know being scanned into the game and looking identical to the real life counterparts. Um, but you know, back in the day, um, you only got that for like the really top teams, um, and some some of the players looked like complete abortions. And uh, yeah, what made me think about that was you used to get like black players that would actually be white in the game because the developers obviously didn't really know anything about the football club they were sort of doing the stats and things for. Um, so that was quite amusing. So I was just thinking, I wonder whether these like black players here are actually, you know, black players, or is it just like random? Is it an even amount? I don't know. They all look like they got big afros as well. This is a game that the NES could have fucking done. What year did it come out? I can't see. I've only got the cartridge, 1993 actually, so yeah, it's not a, an early game, I mean, I would expect some um, management aspects to this game, um, given the, the pretty shitty graphics, but um, yeah, I don't see the point in having management if this is the, uh, the actual game anyway. I can only imagine that, like, there's a speed stat in this game, and like that's the only thing that will make any difference. It's not um, complex enough. You know, it's not like you, you, it's not like you'd be able to give your players some new fancy skills by training them up or anything. 
anything like that. Pretty long match. like literally a straight ball as well there's like no deviation in the game um, it controls well um, you know, the controls are responsive there's nothing sort of broken about the game but it's just very dated now um, like if you play international superstar soccer for instance Compared to this, which wouldn't have come out that long after, really. That's going to be a penalty, isn't it? Um, that's just streets ahead of this. You know, you can actually play ISS nowadays. So it rattled around the post like it was glitching and then went in. Yeah, that game's pretty, pretty playable. Looks pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I can't really see any reason to like pick up this game and actually play it um, unless you you know unless you played it when you was younger just for nostalgia's sake. Um, but yeah, I can imagine even if for nostalgia. I mean, I put FIFA '96 on on the Mega Drive, um, which was a game that I played a hell of a lot when I was younger. Um, and I remember there being certain ways to like, you know, a certain sweet spot on the pitch and you just shot from there every time and scored and you could win like 20 nil or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'd put FIFA 96 on nowadays and I just can't score in the game. So um, yeah, even if you buy this game for, for nostalgia's sake, you'll, you will probably uh, play it for about five minutes um, and be like, I can't play this anymore. There's no crowd noises either, which is kind of sucks a bit. Silence! Silence! So, yeah, um, Kevin Keegan, soccer manager, player manager, whatever. Uh, I'm just resetting here now because I am going to just see if I can work out. Um, I mean, what's this? I wish that dog would fucking shut up. See, there's a calculator, there's a cap, there's a cap dude. Ah, uh, this I see now. This is where you um, you select a team, right? So not sure what any of this is supposed to be. So yeah, ideally, um, if you are going to play this, you probably want to get a game boxed and complete because I have not a scooby as to how to do any sort of management shit if there is any within here. So it looks like you've got kickoff, training, and a couple of modes that I basically, you can select like hats and now, is that is it like player manager and a coach manager something? So yeah, there we have it. Not much to say on this one. I have no idea what to do. Um, 
in the game other than play the actual matches. And it's a very basic game. I think it's basically just kick off with um, some managerial bits tacked on that I just don't understand. So yeah, um, not going to set the world alight with this one. Probably a game I'll never play again, but uh, it was entertaining me in the rush for, yeah, entertaining me for 15 minutes. Well, it didn't really entertain me, but it wasted 15 minutes of my life, basically.